Meanwhile, a quick response from the chairman of the People's National Party, Fitz Jackson, about Philip Powell being implicated in the Petrojam matter. As you heard in the previous report, Mr. Powell had asked Petrojam for $6 million to assist Camperdown High School with sporting facilities, with only $1.75 million of that amount spent so far. O'Shane Masters tells us more. Where is the remainder of the $6 million that was provided to the MP for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Powell? That's the question now being asked following the report from the Integrity Commission on Tuesday. The funds were requested by the MP to help in developing sporting facilities at the Camperdown High School in his constituency, but the report noted that only $1.75 million was spent on surveying and architectural services. Mr. Powell told the Director of Investigations that the balance of the funds, which were handed over on April 7, 2017, is being held in an interest-bearing account at the National Commercial Bank. Minister Powell never took the money had any power to do it other than made a representation, as I said, which all MPs do. And um, the school acknowledged receipt of it. And I, they also provided um, um, documentation for their use of the money. However, the Director of Investigations was not provided with official banking records by Mr. Paulwell or the Camperdown High School principal to confirm the balance at National Commercial Bank. On this point, Mr. Jackson says answers to at least two questions are needed from the school administration. The one point something million was spent, was it legitimately spent by the school? Number one. Two, the remaining funds from what was received, what is the status of it, where is it is, and it can be properly accounted for. Principal of Camperdown High School, Valentine Bailey, told the Director of Investigation that no construction was undertaken to upgrade the school's sporting facility as the donation was not enough. The PNP chairman says he does not see any wrongdoing on the part of Mr. Paulwell. A crime occurred. You don't say you just walk and lock up everybody. You say who is responsible for the crime. So before you ask me the question as to what action to be taken, Mr. Paulwell, you have to ask what wrongdoing Mr. Paulwell committed. And I don't hear that being said yet. So we can't reach to that point as yet. Has he done something wrong? Did he facilitate the crime? Is he complicit in it and in what way? Mr. Jackson says the party will not be seeking a meeting with Mr. Paulwell as there is nothing from him which needs clarification. Mr. Jackson says he supports calls for the Financial Investigation Division to launch an investigation into the funds. We may, no, we made that clear. In fact, don't forget, it's we are the ones who have been calling for these investigations. We are the ones who have been complaining about how long it takes the, the in, Integrity Commission to submit a report. For within the investigations at PAAC, we have called for these investigations, further investigation by the Criminal Investigation Authorities, MOCA, Integrity Commission, and we are the ones who sought to have the, um, the, the Auditor General audit the accounts there. They didn't just happen out of the blue. Machine Masters, TVJ News. Now, amidst the corruption allegations at Petrojam in 2018, Prime Minister Andrew Holness named a man who was a close friend of at least one of the implicated officials to a team to review the refinery's operations. The Integrity Commission report said Mr. Holness named banking executive Ike Johnson as a member of the Petrojam Review Committee. Mr. Johnson is a close friend of the former Petrojam chairman, Percival Badu Singh. The report said Mr. Johnson was also a groomsman at the former chairman's wedding.